best wishes to Big E, who broke his neck on the live SmackDown show on Friday. They were doing a tag team match, and he ended up outside, and Ridge Holland grabbed him, and he gave him an overhead belly-to-belly, and Big E landed right on top of his head, went down, went stiff. Uh, They actually... It was it was interesting because the Cole and uh, and McAfee knew something was wrong immediately, and uh, they they talked about how medical personnel were down there, but you know they they never made a big deal out of it. They never gave an update like you know he's uh, he was just taken out of here. He gave the thumbs up. It was they just moved. they didn't show any of it. No, they just moved on with the show. They finished the well, match. They went to they, commercial. They went right. I mean, like Kofi Kingston, you could see for like a second. Um, you know, saw it, and then they just instinctively went right back to everything planned out, like nothing had happened, and he got pinned. And well, they- I, well, I haven't talked to anybody that was that was in the ring, but I mean, from because I watched it the next day, and it, it really looked like nobody knew how bad it was because you know Kofi was you know he looked out briefly, but I mean the the spot I think the spot was supposed to lay out Big E. For the rest of the match. It was a belly-to-belly on the floor. So, you know, he went up top and immediately got brogue kicked, and and presumably that would have been the finish anyway. And then Pete Dunn slid right into the ring, and he was still in character, and and nobody was even really looking outside to see how Big E was doing. So I'm not sure if they they knew until later how bad it was. They may not have known, but the doctor was out there real quick. And they just, fin- you know, they just went out there. It's live TV, and they finished what they were supposed to do, um, you know. And you could whatever. It's it's that's what they did. Um, it, they didn't endanger him, you know. So it's not like, you know, like like trying to continue the match when a guy's nobody hurt. moved him. No one tried yeah. to lift him up. You know, they took him out on a stretcher. Yeah, they didn't touch him. They didn't touch him afterwards. Um, and yeah, they just finished. Obvi- and obviously, you know, with um, Pete Dunne as Butch to get him over you know that was that it was very clear that that they did the finish planned or something akin very close to it since it all ended up like that so um but um yeah that was a nasty you know it's funny because we've seen so he's he's it's, it's, it, first of all c1 and c6 vertebrae were fractured but he will not need surgery when he boy is he lucky that's the c1 that is a scary injury. The C six, I mean, it's it's all bad, of course, but um, the C one, I mean, that could paralyze you. It could kill you. I mean, that's it's it's not unheard of um, at all. Um, and I mean, he is. It's amazing that that he's not going to need surgery. That you know, from that thing, I think you know, obviously, uh, he was probably protected by the fact that he's so strong in the shoulders and traps and neck. You know, from from all the football and wrestling that he did growing up, and all the weightlifting that he did, and I think that's probably. I mean, that's the only thing I could think of, because uh, you know, you crack those vertebrae, and um, I mean, the, you know, similar thing happened to Bruno, and you know, if Bruno wasn't wasn't so um, in, in the Stan Hansen match, um, you know, he probably could have been paralyzed, and and a lot of guys, um, it's a nasty fall and a nasty break. The um, you know, we've seen some, we've seen a lot of near misses. And I really, you know, one of the things is when it comes to this is I know that like, you know, there was a time, um, I think this is like the early 2000s when um, Vince McMahon and Jim Ross, um, this is when Kurt Angle and, and Brock Lesnar were both, you know, you know, doing a lot of belly to belly suplexes overheads. And they were both very concerned and they actually banned the move for a while. Because they were this is when they were really concerned about injuries. They banned shooting star presses. They banned four fifties. Um, they just you know um, pile drivers. They really wanted to crack down on on things. This would have been after the era where Edge and um, you know everyone, Chris Benoit, Edge, Bob Holly, um, Steve Austin. So many of the guys had neck problems, and then I think that there was like a, a shooting star where somebody got knocked out because it wasn't executed right. It was Billy Kidman, I think, who did that, and that, that so they banned that. So they ban- were banning a lot of moves, and then um, you know, like Angle and Lesnar, you know, wanted it, and it, and it was basically like you know we can do it, we know how to do it, and you know it eventually you know seep back in, and then, you know Big E did that move. Every single match in every single tag match or singles match, 
that was his comeback was two overheads and then the side belly to belly i mean every single match um so you know it's he was one of the people who used it a lot and and, and with him with most of the most of the time you see the guys do it it's safe um but we've seen some near misses not you know on um you know uh was it brutus um creed just the other day tuesday oh. you know i mean that was a I, the, the thing is, is like I, I'm not saying. In fact, I would I would not say ban the move, but I would. You know, I I think that doing it on the floor. I mean, I guess I wouldn't even say that, but I think that it should be. Um, guys need to take care of other guys in in the sense. Um, this was an accident, but I've seen too many close ones when guys get. It's like they get too excited. Like when you're when you're under control, I think it's um, you usually aren't getting the the injury, but when you're just out there so excited, like Brutus Creed was just so excited doing that thing, and he's just throwing people around, and it was really scary. And then with Ridge, I, don't, I mean, I don't know. I'm, you know, I mean, he's done the move before. I don't, you know, it's 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 hard to say what happened. Maybe he's used to doing it to guys that are not two hundred and eighty five pounds is probably part of the answer. Um, but it was. Um, it's something that needs to be looked out for and done carefully because, um, yeah, I mean, it's guys really need to protect their neck and protect their heads because, um, you know, you can tear your, you know, knees are replaceable, shoulders suck, shoulder injuries suck, knee injuries suck, ankle injuries suck, but broken necks and uh, concussions are, are much worse. And, um, those are the ones that I, I i i get so concerned and, and i know brian does too whenever we see a near miss like jericho you know on the pay-per-view which i know was the spot that he wanted it was what they wanted to start the match and i've seen guys take that bump like that to sh to get everyone all shocked um you know in a match and and usually live to tell you know and and maybe maybe sore and everything like that but um you know there are repercussions if you hit wrong, and uh, it's 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 a scary fall, you know, when when guys fall nearly on their heads or on their heads. Yep, C one and C six fractured, not a displacement. He said he didn't have any damage to his spinal cord, no ligament damage, and no surgery. So, as one lucky guy, and he yeah. said, uh, pro tip: if you're going to break your neck, do it in Birmingham. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Because that's where they—that's where they they would send him anyway for Doctor um, Dugas and Doctor Andrews and the the clinic there, where that takes care of all the guys for their surgeries. So, yeah, they were actually in Birmingham um, where he got hurt. So, I guess that was kind of um, whatever, you know. I mean, I guess for a horrible situation, it was probably um, n you know the best of all. If, if you're going to break your neck. Um, don't need, you know, if you don't need surgery and you do it in Birmingham, you know, yeah, it's probably the best under the situation and everything. But, um, yeah, hopefully he can be back. Uh, I mean, I, you know, obviously not rushed, but, um, hopefully he can be back in a hundred percent or close to a hundred percent. Hey, if you're a big fan of wrestling observer radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, wrestlingobserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.